It takes one, an average of six hours to drive from Kampala to Kapuchorwa. The 320-kilometer stretch goes through Uganda's largest forest, Mavira, the world's longest river, the Nile, Mount Elgon, and ends with Sipi Falls. It is this journey that a one Geoffrey Walker Ayeni has trekked for 12 days. Ayeni's mission is to highlight the plight of climate change and to inspire Ugandans to plant trees. And as a Ugandan, I thought I should also contribute uh, by creating awareness. And I started this work from Kampala on the 18th purposely to create awareness about the climate change effect. He has been planting trees along the way with the support of Worldwide Fund for Nature. National Forest Authority and the Minister of Water and the Environment. So why don't we limit the use of this fossil energy, petroleum and the rest of it, and change? We have a lot of sun, even in Kapchora where we don't have so much of the sun because of the nature, we can still use solar, we can still use wind. His last stopover was at Sipi Falls, where the Minister of Water and Environment officials WWF, NFA and local authorities joined him to plant trees before leaving for the final 12 kilometer stretch. Each passing day, tens and at times hundreds of tourists from the Captura district to have a look at the beautiful city falls. The one right behind me here is the second strongest and highest measuring up to 85 meters high. But such sceneries may be lost if climate change is not stopped or mitigated. The Minister for Water and Environment, Sam Chip Torres, blames the rise of global warming on human activities like burning of charcoal, deforestation and gas emissions from old vehicles. Take the matter of tree planting extremely serious. And I want to advise the, town, the, the, the municipal council to have trees everywhere in the municipality. The minister and other stakeholders all call for planting of trees to mitigate effects of climate change. Samuel Garandi, UBC News.